Start recording. Stop recording. Button. So one of the reasons I thought about sending the watch back Portrait. Back. is Button. that you cannot do any third-party apps. So I think I was telling this before, Spotify didn't work. Um, uh, the iHeartRadio didn't work. I just downloaded timers and it didn't work. And stopwatch doesn't work. So <coughs> the built-in apps at Samsung give you work, like alarms, all of that. I set a timer for five minutes with Bigsby. Uh, it did not appear to go off. I think it's been five minutes. I haven't heard anything. Uh, so we'll see if it comes on during this, this podcast. But that's kind of a drawback. I feel like <clears throat> for voice assistant and for blind users, we should have the same access for timers. Um, also, using Bigsby on the watch is not exactly pleasant. It doesn't seem to always work. Um, so, like like I said, with voice assistant, it doesn't turn it off or on. The only thing I've gotten it to do reliably reliably is call people and, and set alarms. That seems to work really well. Um, so, I, I guess, like, my thing is, if all you really want to do is see your notifications, send texts, uh, set alarms, do reminders. Actually, I was able to do a reminder. Um, and, um, uh, you know, maybe a few other things hit and miss. I think this watch is perfect. Um, if you want something more involved, <clears throat> uh, then definitely I would look the Apple Watch way if you're already in the iOS ecosystem. Um, but, you know, this thing is, is pretty neat. I'm going to show you how to do the control center here. So I'm going to turn the bezel, it is 6, 9 PM. and then I'm going to pull down with two fingers, <laughs> and it says back panel, and then I'm going to uh, just flick right. Battery 89%. Bluetooth connected. Power saving off button. Airplane mode off button. Volume 11 button. Brightness 1 button. Theater mode off button. Settings button. I'm just flicking right. Now I can just hit home. One thing that's cool is you can hear it maybe ticking. Um, it ticks when you're on the watch face. Uh, so I kind of like that. Um, let's see. Um, when a phone call comes in, you can actually rotate the bezel right, like so clockwise, to answer. You can turn the bezel counterclockwise or left to not answer, to ignore. Uh, and I thought that was kind of a cool feature. <coughs> Sound quality is pretty good. Let's, uh, let's actually do, let's, um, let's do a phone call real quick. Apps, rotate bezel to navigate. Recent apps, timer, Galaxy And I'm just Samsung going through, let me open timer. timer so you can hear what it says. Can't open, this app called Voice Assistant is on. Which, I just find that to be really, really stupid. Um, makes me mad, actually. <laughs> so I'm going to open up phone. I'm going to call that. That's our, our TARC dispatch line. Uh, so I'm going to just double tap. Let's call that. So it actually, you can hear voice assistant talking because it uses your phone for Bluetooth. It's kind of interesting. I see switch the phone. Press one. Thank you for your patience. Due to unusually high call volume, you may experience longer than normal hold time. Please enter your client.
There we go. <coughs> and you heard it in the call there. So it, it was really cool because uh, I could bring up the uh, keypad. It looked a lot like the Apple Watch. It was uh, uh, one thing I always liked about the Apple Watch when you're calling IVR systems. It was very simple to uh, bring up the keypad and, uh, you know, go through the prompts. This looks about the same. You have to hit more options, which is the only difference. But then you can click keypad and you can... Uh, click on the you know click keypad and then see the uh, normal numbers. So overall, I think I'm going to keep the watch because I I do like it and I think it's probably the, in the Android world it's probably the the cream of the crop at this point so to speak. So uh, I I mean I think Android Wear could improve, but all the reviews I read even if they improve the chipsets on them, they're still miles behind on fitness tracking and all the things that you can do with this watch. One cool thing is, before I go, it does actually keep track of, um, in the morning, you get a summary of how well you slept, uh, how well you, your eat, eating was, and different things. If you track that through your uh, Samsung Health app, uh, it gives you kind of a, uh, how many steps you took the day before, uh, where you kind of want to be today, and it seems fairly accurate. Um, you know, so I've had it for four days, so I'm kind of watching I haven't done tons of exercising, so it'll be anxious. I'm anxious to see how it compares all together with the Apple Watch. Bad, bad, bad. Stop recording.